What's up, Internet? It's Mal. I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to set up a different wallpaper on each of your monitors, especially if one is vertical. It's a little trickier. If you have zero vertical monitor involved in this and your screen's all max pixels, all you got to do is put the pictures side by side and it's going to work. If the pixels aren't matching, you're going to have to copy this method. Or if you have a vertical screen, you're going to have to copy this method. So you're going to have to get something like this, making yourself a template. And uh, this blue part is basically the dark zones that are not seen. That's the example of how this works. And let's say you've gotten to this stage and it's not working. Here's what you got to do. Right click, personalize this set to picture and this set to tile. It not being set to tile is why it wasn't working if you got there. So remember that in the end, you need to do that. And let's uh, show you how to make this uh, template, and all we're using is MS Paint for this. If you need to scale an image bigger or smaller, I'm going to show you how to do that using GIMP. It's a free program, but everything else is MS Paint. So I'm going to go here, solid color, I'm going solid green, close this, hitting the print screen button, going to MS Paint, view, zoom out twice here, back to home, selection tool, Right click, paste. I'm going to change the dark zones to solid red because I want to save this right away. Well, actually, before I do that, um, color copy tool, get the green, and use your color fill in tool. You get these toolbars. There you go. You can be more thorough and like clear all this out. That's what I would do. But for what you've got here, this will work. And if you're wondering why this taskbar is up high, it's because I have something obstructing my view. I bring my taskbar up so that I never have a window being blocked by my microphone here. That's why I have this up. But yeah, so here we go. I'm going to save this, save as a BMP in that folder on my desktop. I call this a uh, screen map. Boom. And now I'm going to open up my folder set this as my background and I'm looking for any red bleed pull this to the side I don't see any if you do you know adjust accordingly and uh, now we're ready uh, right click edit brings you right back to paint and zoom out well actually what I'm gonna be doing is zooming in on this far right corner here Make sure I can see the red and the green. Go to the screen, the picture I want on my furthest left. It's this picture of cloud. Right click, edit. Control A to select it all. Control C to copy it. Close back to paint here with the selection tool. Right click, paste. Now I'm dragging it to the left until I can see the two corners. And here we go. Cover it right over the green here. Zoom in as far as you need to make this simple click off to get rid of the selection. Going down, I just see red. Perfect. Now I'm going to the next green to the left, going to this top corner, and we're doing the same thing with the next one. Uh, the screen I like in the middle here is Fallout Please Stand By. Uh, right click, Edit, Control A, Control C, Close, Minimize. Row this down with the selector, dragging left, throwing it in, boom. And if you already have a vertical picture ready, it's the right size, everything, just be pulled all the way to the top, all the way to the left, and you paste it in there, and it's going to fit perfectly, and you're done. You're totally done. But uh, hold on if you want a little more detail. I can show you how to flip this image using paint. There's got to be easier ways, but... Like I said, I'm going to show you everything in paint except for scaling if that's necessary. So I zoomed out a bunch of times, grab this uh, canvas scaler, pull it out. Now I'm going to grab selection tool outside here and pull it all the way to the top left. So we grab the whole thing, pull it down, uh, right click, give it a rotate like until it's sideways the way you want it. There we go. 
and I'm not going to throw it all the way up to the top left here because I don't want to accidentally lose any piece. I'm going to zoom in, Control A, pull this up to the perfect, pixel perfect there. All right, zooming out. Don't try to do this zoomed out like a full thing. Uh, it's buggy sometimes. Go to 100%. And this is down here is counting the pixels of the canvas. Don't do this by looking at the picture and trying to do it with your eyes. Just look at this number, drag it up. We're going for uh, 1920 right there, let go. And we're going for 1080 here, let go. And you could save this as, get it, make it a sep save as, makes a separate image, save just overwrite. So we want to, um, make a new one that's sideways boom and control a control c closing back to this let's throw it in there boom boom and um remember i saved a screen map just once i would be uh saving my finish thing as a separate like screen map two and then uh, I can set that and it's gonna be perfect. That's desktop background, bam. And uh, what I do finally is uh, I fill in these with black and I make my final one that I'm really gonna set as my wallpaper. I leave it as a JPEG, quicker to load I'm thinking, it looks exactly the same. But everything I was doing up until now was a BMP. This I'm doing as a JPEG, I'm calling that my wallpaper. And just to demonstrate quickly the purpose of using red and not a JPEG, both of those things up until this point is because look, I got a JPEG that's got black bars. What happens if I go to edit and I try to make that red? Oh, look at that, that's a mess. So that's why I did it the way I did it. So that's not going to happen. And I can go back to this one when I don't want that to happen. So lastly, uh, I said I'm going to demonstrate scaling with GIMP. Um, that's needed be if you have pictures that aren't the perfect size because you need to put the perfect size pictures in to do this. So um, just to show you how to scale an image, uh, get GIMP, it's a free program this thing here. Take your image, right click, open with GIMP. And I'm zooming in and out with my number pad, the minus and plus sign. You're gonna go to image, canvas size, and set it to what your new image is gonna be. I'm just gonna make this a thousand pixels bigger in both directions. Let's just say that's what you needed resize and I'm going to zoom out to that for that to fit now I'm taking this the scale tool here and I'm going to stretch my image out and remember of course like this that's not inside the canvas when I render the picture that's going to be cut out I'm just keeping in what I want and don't have any of those lines showing just go over it by a little bit and it's the same concept if you're making a smaller thing, you know, scale it down and fit it in the thing. Same concept. So once you're done there, file, whoops, I randomly clicked something, file, um, export as, and you can change the file type by just changing the extension here, but I'm going to leave it as BMP, and I'm going to call this scaled. You hit export, wait a second and uh, hit export again, boom, and this is my scaled image. All right, that should uh, cover all that. I hope this got your, uh... I hope this solved your problem. Subscribe. Peace.